This is a review of the Plano 70, 732 3700 series. Um, the difference between this review and every other review is that I'm going to show you with gear in and show you the advantages and disadvantages of this box. This is, if you want the quick review, it would be, I like the box, I just don't like the boxes in the box. So first off, I like I like to carry bobbers. I never freaking use them. Don't know why. Uh, but I like being able to put these bobbers up here and just have an empty space. Because I always ran into in my other box, they'd always be in the way just floating around there. Top of the box, I put this new spider I just got in here. I just set him in here. Uh, and the frog, they're top water baits. They're a little more delicate. I like, I think that's a good spot for them, but that's just where I'm going to put them for now. I got some little toy stuff and some other stuff. I like that you have this box back here, but it's like, okay, so that fits. So I really like that bo that space back there. I thought I would be able to put one of these spinner baits over the top of this. But it would just get in the way of everything, so I wound up just completely, and I love this little case that I used to have. But I was going to go like this, but they just don't sit very good. Once you line them up, then you're losing a lot of box space, and I don't throw them enough. Maybe it's because I don't know how to throw them enough. I don't know. Um, so that's the top. That's just kind of how I have it configured for now. I just got this box, but I did notice some flaws in it that I really don't care for. So, I put my worms, I got my plastics in, mostly in these two side boxes, okay, where you pull them out of here. Now, if you notice, there's a lot more space than the box size, so it's a bit of a waste of space there. Now, I really like these boxes, but I really think they should redesign a little bit, at least maybe the box you put in there, so that the box will take up more space, maybe give us a little bit deeper box or something. That would be nice. Now, the problem with these boxes is they're just long enough to be just short enough. <laughs> if you notice, I cannot stretch out these worms. They've kind of got to curl up on themselves here. So... I don't like that fact. These swim baits, they are almost the only thing that fits in the small side over here. Uh, you can fit smaller worms. But it makes it very difficult to keep your colors and your styles arranged when you only got four here and four smaller ones here. It would be nice if they were the same length, but if they were shorter, then they wouldn't be effective for worms at all. So... I don't know, my, my feeling on this is kind of, it's about all they could do with the space that they're trying to put it in, as far as depth. I mean, if they made the box just a little bit wider, they could make that work. But that's not, that's not horrible. I don't hate that. It works, it just doesn't make me, even though I'm organized, I still feel unorganized. Get this out of the way. Now this is freaking awesome. Being able to move this, I had a problem with this one. You're you're in the boat, you flip it down, and it pops off here and here, and then you have to sit there and fight it, always fighting this damn this damn thing. Here they made it so it slides in. You'll see that on all the reviews. It's a little bit cumbersome to slide it in, but once it is in there. Now, I haven't taken it out fishing yet. I'm worried that this little lip's going to give me hell. But I'm pretty happy with it for right now. Here is where I run into my flaws here. Okay? These boxes... What can I say about these boxes? They're an awesome size. But when you did the dividers this way instead of, instead of this way... Now I can only put worms in the top and, you know, little crap in the bottom there. So it makes it... So what you got is you got a problem putting worms in the... Damn, I'll get that in later. Uh, you got problems putting the worms in here because these aren't quite big enough. 
you got problems putting the worms in here because they don't give you enough space to be able to put more worms. So if you want a box that's just for worms, then I don't know that this is the right box. Now, there is the option of changing out the... See, this is driving me batty. I took it out and now I can't get it in one-handed. Oh, well. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So, if you want a box where you can organize it really, really well and have all your worms lined out with your different colors and maybe one long worms here and some short worms here that are about the same color or something, this may not be the box. Um, now, you can see... I actually, there's so much space, and you can see how I just threw this in here. This is more just an empty box right now, and I'm just keeping some extra dividers in here. Um, I got some flukes in here and some other little flukes, but I have flukes in here, but I ran out of space to put more flukes. But if I didn't use these for worms, then I'd be stuck using... So it's just, it's controlled chaos is what it is. I really, I'm pretty sure I'm going to replace these boxes really sucks you buy a box you buy a brand new tackle box spend 40 bucks and you don't like it the other thing is you i don't know if you've seen that let me do that again whenever you grab the box below that box falls so if you're trying to remember which one was which you probably won't unless you label it or something like that now i did a lot of doubling up here um and i've never doubled up before uh, this is kind of an experiment. That's kind of why I left the other box empty as well in case I decide I don't want to double up. But you can see these fit fairly decent. And, you, you know, these guys, these little swimmers here, you know, they fit pretty good in here like this. But again, I would rather have the space all, you know, vertical or all horizontal so that you can fit worms in uh, and keep everything more organized. That's my own personal preference. Anyways, that kind of shows you how I set up my tackle box. Not that it's uh, not that it's perfect or anything like that. And this is before I went fishing with it. So um, maybe when I go fishing, I will decide to reorganize it. By the way, those are all the leftover pieces that I didn't use at this point. Um, so they there are plenty there. Um, and I'll put those in a box and have them somewhere in case I need them later. But, you know. So that's it. Like I said, it's 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 controlled chaos, but the way they make it makes it still chaos. So pick your poison, decide if it's right for you or what you're probably doing. What I did was I bought the box because I fell in love with the box a year ago. Finally bought it, and now I'm just kind of oh hum. I do like it better than this box. I'm not lying. Not not going there. I just for such an awesome design, they kind of flopped with the boxes inside the box. That's my decision. So, have a great day. Enjoy. Thanks.